Not to be outdone, Amazon has finally joined the party. They've just announced their general release of Code Whisperer. Whisper, whisper. This is an AI tool that you use inside your IDE, like Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, and there's a bunch of other ones. And it works just like GitHub Copilot. And I'm wondering if Code Whisper is gonna be just as good or better. I know one thing where it's better right now already, and I'm gonna get into that momentarily. Also, this is just an intro video just to tell you about it, but I'm gonna do a little bit more of a deep dive later on, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Here's an announcement on Amazon's site, April 13th. Yes, Amazon entered the AI game. Not that they haven't been in it. Now they're reaching out to the public and making their tools available to the public. And by the way, this is not a new thing, okay? They've already had this in beta or in preview since June of 2022. Thanks to Marcelo for sending me the message on Twitter, by the way. Let's get into it. What can this thing do and how is this different from Copilot? Well, the number one thing, how this is different from Copilot is that it's gonna be free for individuals. For now, they have two tiers. One is a professional level tier and then there's the free tier. I like the free tier. I don't know about you, but free is good. So I think because Amazon is so far behind at this point, they feel like they need to catch up and offering a free tier is really good to be able to do that. Besides the free tier, what else is going to set it apart? Well, there is one really cool feature that Copilot does not currently have, and that's inbuilt security scanning. Copilot is trying to catch up with Copilot X. I think they're going to call it Copilot Security, but that's not available yet. It is available here, and we're gonna take a look at that momentarily. I know you might think, oh, security, who cares? As long as it writes code for me, right? But <laughs> wait a minute here. For those of you that are security-minded, you might have heard of a little thing called OWASP. That's the Open Web Application Security Project. And they keep track of all the latest vulnerabilities. It actually has a little button that you can click that says Run Security Scan. And this thing is going to be a lifesaver. This is going to be a killer feature, I think, of Code Whisperer, at least for now. Because when it fills out your code for you, theoretically, it's going to immediately be able to diagnose any vulnerabilities that are already known and documented <laughs> against your code. How cool is that? There's gonna be the really good integration with AWS services and tools like Lambda, um, their S3 offering. Code Whisper is supposed to be highly optimized for most use AWS services and APIs. Here's the pricing page in case you're interested. There's two tiers, individual and professional. Yeah, the professional one is 20 bucks a month per user. There is the code security scans limit because this is gonna be going out and scanning things using Amazon's cloud services. If you're on the free tier, you're limited to 50 calls or 50 security scans per user per month. I would probably think about not constantly hitting that security scan button and just being a little bit more frugal with your scans if you're doing that. I'm not exactly 100% sure if the scans work per function, per project. We're going to find out soon enough. And you get 500 of those security scans if you're paying 20 bucks a month. Now, GitHub Copilot charges $10 a month. And if you're under an org, you can actually get it for free. Now, one thing about code security scans here, it says the security scans are currently supported for Python, Java, and JavaScript only. So if you're using other languages, um, out of luck for now, that's what they're offering. Let's sign up, shall we? You need to install the AWS Toolkit extension for VS Code, which I'm gonna do right now. Let's continue and open VS Code. And there's that extension right there. Let's pop open the terminal and I'm gonna say npm init to create a brand new project. All right, let's pop this open in VS Code and Code Whisperer should be running. There's the AWS tab and let's pop open Code Whisperer and it says you can pause auto suggestion, which implies that it's running right now. Let's create a new file called index.js. I'm gonna do a little comment. Without me even typing anything, it's already giving a suggestion. Giving a string S, the task is to find the length of the longest substring with no more than K distinct characters. Nah, create a function that adds two numbers together. Okay, is it one line at a time? Well, no, it's a couple of lines at a time. And then it suggests create a function that subtracts two numbers, create a function that multiplies two numbers. So we're doing all the maths, as they say in England. That one I got right, they do say that in England. Print the sum of two and five. Boom, there it is. Print the difference of two and five, and it keeps going with suggestions. Very cool. I also wanted to check out that security scan functionality, so I created an HTML page and pasted in a famous cross-site scripting vulnerability, but I got a message that says Code Whisper does not do HTML. Hey, 
I just don't do HTML, it says, but it does do JavaScript. So I took this JavaScript code out of here and just pasted it into our index file into a function and had it do a scan. For such a small little function, it did take uh, probably a good five to six seconds to do, and it got it right. It came back with the cross-site scripting attack. Now, unfortunately, I didn't see a way that you can automatically fix it. It just makes you aware of the problem. So it's up to you to fix it. And you can probably use Code Whisper to create some kind of cleansing function to get rid of this vulnerability. Really nice to see it's there. So this thing is working. I, I get that these are not complicated examples and I'm gonna do more tests, but I just wanted to let you know about this. It's very cool uh, that somebody else has joined the game because Copilot was the only player for a while. I know there's been other players in the field like Tab9 has been around for a while, which is slightly different. Copilot has really revolutionized the way we work and I'm really glad to see that others are joining in in Amazon. Wow, I would have expected something like this from Google first, but hey, they've got their own problems right now. There's a couple of interesting facts in the FAQ that many of you might be interested in because of what we've learned with Copilot. Blah, 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 this is great. But let's get to the fun part, which is here. Where did AWS obtain the training data? Hmm, Code Whisper is a generative AI service powered by foundation model trained on various data sources, including Amazon and open source code. Very vague over here, but I'm guessing they're gonna go out to GitHub, scan all of GitHub, all the open source stuff, and do the same thing that Copilot is doing. Who owns the code generated by Code Whisper? You own the code. That's good. Minus any of those uh, pending lawsuits that might happen. We don't know yet what's gonna happen with that. Basically, you're in the same boat as with Copilot here. Will Code Whisper produce code that is, looks similar to the training data? Um, yes. Will Code Whisper produce toxic or biased code? Well, it is gonna go to Stack Overflow for some of the code, so probably. <laughs> Okay, forget it, forget it. Will Code Whisper recommend code with security vulnerabilities? This is an interesting one. The training data is analyzed for security vulnerabilities, but how often are they gonna update that model? I don't know, because security vulnerabilities come out every single day. I don't know how they can keep up. Maybe they can augment the model somehow. It doesn't really give that information here. It just says we cannot completely rule out code suggestions with security issues, so. Beware, there's more to the fact, but those are the issues that we've been really dealing with in the last few months since Copilot has been out. These are the things that worry us and keep us up at night. Not me, maybe some people. Thanks for watching, folks. If you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you around.